Now, Tom, this is the first time you've been trusted with such a large consignment of raw sewage. <laughs> Are you sure you'll be all right? Oh, well, yeah. Don't be worried about me at all. And remember, Tom, this is the button that opens the doors, and this is the button that makes the sewage shoot out. This one's for the doors, and this one shoves the stuff out. No, 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 no. no it's the other way around. Right, you are. Oh. <laughs> well, look, so... July the 19th. Why does that strike me as important? Yes. <laughs> uh, July 19th. I wouldn't know, Ted, you big bollocks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, I wouldn't know, Ted, you big bollocks. <laughs> Have you been reading those Roddy Doyle books again, Dougal? <laughs> I have, yeah, Ted, you big gobshite. Yes, well, that's all very well, but you have to remember, they're just stories. Normal people like us don't use that type of language. Remember, this is the real world. Oh, you're right there, Ted. <laughs> anyway, any idea why July the 19th should be so important? Would that be the day the Ice Age ended? <laughs> no, Dougal. You can't be that precise about the Ice Age. <laughs> I look it up in the diary. July 19th. On this day, uh, Galway liberated from Indians. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, Marathon becomes Snickers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aha, Ted. I say Jens. Time for tea, fathers. Mrs Doyle, does anything strike you as important about July the 19th? It doesn't matter what day it is, father. There's always time for a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Sure didn't our Lord himself on the cross pause for a nice cup of tea before giving himself up for the world? No, he didn't, Mrs Doyle. Well, whatever equivalent they had for tea in those days. Cake or whatever. And speaking of cake, I have cake. I'm fine for cake, Mrs Doyle. Are you sure, Father? There's cocaine in it. There's what? No, not cocaine. What am I on about? <laughs> no, I meant him. Um, what you call them? Raisins. Oh. <laughs> right, uh, I won't, thanks. Ah, uh, you will. Sure, it's only small. It's just a tiny little cake. You won't even feel it going in. You won't even know you're eating it. No, I will know I'm eating it, Mrs Doyle. No, you won't. You look at the size of it. It's hardly even a cake. It's... A micro cake. Mrs. Doyle, I really won't have any cake. Oh, come on now. It's got raisins, cherries, cinnamon. Cinnamon? Oh, yes. Oh, well, actually, I do love cinnamon. OK, Mrs. Doyle, what the heck? I'll have one. Great. No. <laughs> no, Father, I'm forcing you. No, no, you're not. <laughs> really? I love cinnamon. No, no, you're just being polite. But if you don't want any, all you have to do is say no. Just that one little word, no. It's a lovely word our Lord gave us to use here on Earth when we don't want any cake. Yes, <laughs> but just this once, I'd actually love some cake, Mrs Doyle. Well, you can't have any. I want cake! No, no, I'm just going out to have these destroyed. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, this date thing is bothering me now. July the 19th. Is there something we always do on July the 19th? Is it something to do with Jack? Maybe it's... Oh, God! It's not his bath, is it? Oh, no, Ted, no! It couldn't be! No! No, wait, wait! Calm down, wait! He's just had his bath. Remember, just before Christmas. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, oh God almighty. You OK? I think so. So what could it be? Holiday. <laughs> Come on, Dougal, better get moving. Where are we going, Holiday's head? Oh, God, I don't know. Pearsons. Pearsons? No, Mr. Pearson doesn't really like people staying with him on their holidays. It's not actually a guest house. Is it not? No, <laughs> do you not remember the big argument we had with him last year when we tried to stay the second week? Wait, do you know where we go? Father O'Rourke has that caravan, and he said we could use it any time we wanted. 
Oh no, Ted, no, not again. It's very small, that caravan. No, no, he's got a new one. Apparently it's twice as big. Let's go. He said it was the one at the end. There it is, Ted, look! It's huge! Calm down, man. <laughs> We're here, Father. Hey, Father. I think it's the best caravan in the whole world. Dougal, where's the trailer with all the stuff in it? <laughs> Next thing you'll be telling me you didn't lock the front door. <laughs> ah, Ted, come on. Frank! In a minute, Father, I promise you. This is great, isn't it, Ted? Tell you now. This is what it's all about. Wait a second, we gotta do my back. I'm wrinkling up like a raisin in there. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Father Ted Crilly, Craggy Island, Parochial House, Craggy Island. That's C-R-A-G-G-Y Island. Honestly, officer, I can't apologise enough. God, that was so embarrassing. Ted, if that's not our one, which one is? <laughs> so this is great. And you know, it is bigger than last year's one. <laughs> what do we do first, Ted? We'll take it easy for a while. I think we should, you know, just get settled into the old caravan. <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Um, <laughs> where do we go? Oh, here's a booklet, Ted. Huh. Places of interest. St. Kevin's Stump. Hmm? <laughs> Sounds good. The Magic Road. Oh. <laughs> Two places of interest. <laughs> What's the Magic Road, Ted? It's one of those bizarre natural wonders where everything's gone haywire and nothing works the way it's supposed to. It's a bit like you, Dougal. <laughs> Except it's a road. I still don't understand. It's a kind of a mad road. Yes, it's what's called a strange phenomenon. If you stopped a car in it and took off the handbrake, it would roll uphill and water would flow up it. That's nearly as mad as that thing you told me about the loaves and the fishes. No, Dougal. <laughs> That's not mad. That's when our Lord got just one or two bits of food uh, and turned into a whole pile of food, and everyone had it for dinner. God, he was fantastic, wasn't he? <laughs> ah, he was brilliant. <laughs> Father Jack, do you have any preferences? Holiday! Yes, we're on holiday. Would you like to go anywhere? What? <laughs> Would you like to go somewhere? Who are you? <laughs> I was just asking. Would you like to go somewhere now that we're here? Would you like to go for a lovely walk? I like cake! Yes, I, uh, I think I'll just stop talking to Father Jack now. <laughs> Where am I? What's that thing there? Are those my feet? <laughs> God, let's just get him to sleep and we'll head off ourselves. OK, Father. Into your box. Drink! <laughs> Arse! Girls! <laughs> let's go and look for the magic road. The holiday starts here, Dougal. <laughs> Come on, let's play Scrabble. Did you bring the travel Scrabble, Dougal? I brought the normal Scrabble and the travel Scrabble, Ted. The travel Scrabble for when we were travelling and the normal Scrabble for when we arrived. Good man. I know, uh, wait a minute. Now that I think of it, I didn't bring either of them. Right. Got him an awful Egypt. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do for the next two weeks? Well, I put on the kettle. Yeah, go on. Must be one of the ones that clicks off automatically. Yes. Oh. Bit of steam there. <laughs> Incidentally, <clears throat> did you bring any tea bags? No. <laughs> right. Kettle's boiled there, Ted. <laughs> mm, yeah. Will I put more water in and turn it on again? <laughs> No, I, uh, I liked it best the first time. 
Maybe we could turn it on without putting any water in at all. <laughs> See what happens. Don't think you should do that. It, uh, it would just blow up and you'd be picking lumps of metal out of your face for the next year and a half. <laughs> you get big red blotches and a puffy fish lips bigger than the rest of your face. Like Father Bigley. <laughs> exactly like Father Bigley. Maybe that's what happened to him. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Coming. Ready or not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> Small, far away. <laughs> I forget it. <laughs> Ted, you know the way your eyes sometimes play tricks on you? <laughs> I know. Father Larry Duff. Ah, uh, Larry. He sometimes comes around this area when he gets a break. He's tremendous fun. I'll give him a call on his mobile phone. I got him one for Christmas. <laughs> He's always complaining that nobody rings him on it. <laughs> Must have it switched off. <laughs> Why is it called St. Kevin's Stump? <laughs> Doesn't say. So is this what all holidays are like, Ted? Actually, yeah. Anyway, we better get back to Jack. Ah, he's fine. He said he'd stay put by the cliffs. Can we go over to the rock and back, Ted? <laughs> well, come on, Ted. We're on holidays. Live in it. <laughs> All right, but we better get back to Jack soon. Drink! 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 <laughs> <sighs> well, here we are. Mm. Will we go over to that fence now, Ted? No, we might just blow up the excitement if we did that now. <laughs> we should save something for next week. Father, Ted Billy, Faggy Island, Broken House, C or she know all that. Listen, you know the whole business of reporting missing persons? I heard of it, yes. Well, does it cost any money to report a missing person? No. <laughs> Great, tell you what, we seem to have lost one of our party, Father Jack Hackett. God, how would you describe him? Mid 50s. To mid 80s. Tremendous smell of vegetables off him for some reason. Angry man, very angry man. Hates children. Likes the odd drink. And uh, if you find him, don't come up on him from behind. He won't like that at all. <laughs> oh, and one thing, do you carry those electric stunner gadgets? No. Why? No, oh, no reason. <laughs> right. Anything else I can do for you while I'm here? Want to confess to any unsolved murders or anything? <laughs> no, we're fine for the old unsolved murders. <laughs> God, some holiday this is turning out to be. Come on, at least now Jack's gone. There'll be more room in the caravan. Ebony. Hello, Noel. What a good 
this name are you doing here? Well, actually, this is our caravan. <laughs> Father Rook said we could use it. Yes, I see. <laughs> I think you must say it to everyone. Hey, you lot, room for two more on the St. Luke's Youth Group. Uh, Motion fast, sit down there, and we'll have a bit of an old song. What can we sing? Will you sing one, Ted? Uh, no, I won't. Yeah, uh, you will. You have a lovely voice. Very like Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> will you dance, then? Come on, Tony, sit on the old river dance album. Uh, actually... <laughs> actually, no, I'm, I'm quite tired. What? Maybe you're right, actually. We're all a bit exhausted from the old singing. Some of us overdid it down the old local last night. <laughs> Jerry Fields knows who I'm talking about, huh? What? Hey? Yeah. Oh, anyway, you arrived back at God. Must have been half ten. <laughs> and some of us crawled in. Janine Riley knows what I'm talking about there, don't you? Don't you? Yeah. And she wasn't the only one. Tony Lynch. Tony Lynch! He knows her! Look at him there, all sweetness and light. Well, he wasn't like that last night when he crawled into bed at ten past the eleven. Oh. <laughs> Father Noel Furlong, you're a fine young fella. What age would you say I am? Go on, guess. Well, what age would you say? Don't you tell him. He knows. Look at him there, I'd like to tell him. No. Well, go on, guess. What would you say? Forty. <laughs> Ted! <laughs> Haven't seen you in ages. How are you? I saw the whole of Is it? Half ten. No, we should all go to bed. Oh, where's Tony Lynch off to? Well, probably to get some heroin. No, I'm just going to the toilet, Father. Oh, thanks. Anyone else need to go? Ted, Dougal, are you okay? We're grand, thanks, Noel. Are you sure now, Ted? You don't need a little tinkle. <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. I'll go again. The worst thing would be to keep it in, cos your bladder could go mental. Yes. A friend of mine, Father Sweeney, he had a very small bladder, about the size of a Terry's chocolate orange. No! <laughs> I really? I'm fine. OK? I'm fine. You're like a bunch of camels. <laughs> anyway, we'll get the sleeping bags out. Will it not be a bit cramped and all? Not at all! The more the merrier. St. Columns had a great old football team in the mid-50s. Do you remember, Ted? They won the Father Fitzgibbon Cup. <laughs> Father Fitzgibbon. <laughs> Think about him was, he looked like a cup. Great <laughs> ears, like handles. <laughs> Do you remember him, Ted? Ted! Ted, are you asleep? Do you remember him? Yes! I remember him, Noel. Ooh. Who's a bit of a moaning Michael tonight? <laughs> God almighty. It's nearly six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I think what we should all do now is tell a few ghost stories. <laughs> Ted. Yes. I'm going mad. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's let's get out of here. Let's let's go home. <laughs> who, who, who's that now? Is, is that Jerry Fields heading off to the disco? It's uh, only us, Noel. We're just heading out for some fresh air. Don't forget to bring us back some. <laughs> right, so <laughs> Big feckin' Egypt. <laughs> what about Jack? Chances are he's gone back to Craggy Island. He's an amazing homing instinct. I wouldn't be surprised if we opened the front door to find him there with a big smile on his face and his arms outstretched to welcome us back. <laughs> what? Well, maybe not the smile on his face. Or the outstretched arms. Or the welcome back. He's probably there. <laughs> oh, God, Dougal, is your man quick? I don't want him to see us. Please open. You're all right there, Ted. He's a fair bit away yet. <laughs> Might be worth speeding up there a bit, Ted. S 
Sorry about that. Bloody perverts! Poor <laughs> oh, Ted. He's probably very cold now that his towel is blown away. Maybe we should let him off. I've been thinking about that for ages. It's just I'm sure he's going to start giving out to us. We could pretend we didn't see him. I don't think he'd believe us. Oh, we'd better let him off, Ted. Oh, all right. I suppose so. Get out of the car! Uh, hello again! Get out of the car! Right! I think he's calming down a bit. Ah, uh, no! No! Ah, uh, uh, no! Now, come on there. There's absolutely no need for that type of nonsense. He's puncturing the tires, Ted. <laughs> I can tell you're impressing nobody with that type of thing. <laughs> God, Ted, I'm so tired. Maybe we should go back. No, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere near an old furlong again. God knows what they're getting up to by now. We need a lift. Fair enough, Fatters. Hold on there, I'll open the door. <laughs> Sorry about that, Fatters. Father, you're awake. Oh, God. It took us ages to pull you on board. Will you have something to drink? <laughs> 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Coming now, ready or not? <laughs> 